Hey there YouTube, it's Becky with the Dorky Thrifters and I wanted to make a video talking about Bonanza. Now if you're not familiar with Bonanza, Bonanza is a online marketplace very similar to eBay or Etsy or Amazon and um, there are some really cool benefits to selling on Bonanza um, that you may not know about. And so I wanted to talk a little bit about the benefits of it and I'll go over the um, pros and cons and kind of just walk you through the basics of how it works. Um, I've been selling on Bonanza for over a year now and I don't make a lot of sales but I usually make probably two or two to four sales every month so it's not a huge amount of sales compared to eBay where I'm making you know 50 60 sales a month but they are sales and so I can't really complain. Um, some of the benefits to selling on Bonanza are that there are no listing fees at all. So you don't have to pay for any listing fees. The final value fees are very low. They start at 3.5% and then they go up depending on how much you want them to go up really. And I'll get more into that a little bit um, later in the video. But you can also earn reward tokens that you can use for different things. You can set up coupons and it's very, very easy to get started. My favorite thing about Bonanza is that you can e import your listings that you've already had, you already have made automatically into Bonanza and then it works very well that if something sells on eBay, it automatically ends on Bonanza and vice versa. If something sells on Bonanza, it automatically ends your listing on eBay or Etsy. And so it's very nice, it's very seamless. You, there's, it's really a no brainer that if you have an eBay or an Etsy you already have some listings there's really no reason why you shouldn't put them on Bonanza too so let's just go over um, quickly when you first come into Bonanza for the first time you're gonna see this sell on Bonanza button up here at the top and first off let me just say that the reason why I'm making this video is because I'm trying to get some referrals from my Bonanza store so if you'll use the link that I'm gonna provide um, in the comments below I would really appreciate it so I'm going to give you a referral link. If you'll use that link, um, it will help me to earn some rewards. And I'll talk about that more in the video, why I want to earn rewards and what you can do with your rewards. Okay. So sell on Bonanza. And then it's going to ask you right here off the bat, are you already selling online? Yes, I am. Which sites do you sell on? eBay, Amazon, Etsy. So you can click more than one. I'm just going to select eBay for now just to show you how it works. And then once you come in here, it's basically just gonna have you log into your eBay account, um, agree to some terms and things that you're allowing them to access your eBay account, and then it will import your listings from eBay into Bonanza automatically, your pictures, your descriptions, everything. And so it's really nice. Okay, so that's all you do is you connect your eBay account. Now, I've already done this. So I'm going to just show you my Bonanza booth, is what they call it. It's called a booth, kind of like at a flea market or something, I guess. As you can see, here are all my listings. Now these are all listings that I created on eBay and then had imported over here. So it's very simple. I haven't had to go through and create any listings at all. Um, these are the categories that I set up on Bonanza and I'll show you how to do that here in a minute. You can see all these categories and the cool thing about it is that you set up the categories and then from the category names and your title names, Bonanza puts everything in the appropriate category for you. So that's a step you don't have to do. So you can see as I click on prescription eyeglasses, it brings up all of my prescription eyeglasses that it's found. So let's talk about settings. So as you can see, um, you can set up your booth name and a little blurb about your booth. And then this is where you can set up very easily if you go on vacation. Um, don't forget if you put your eBay or Etsy store on vacation to come into Bonanza and put that on vacation as well. Um, advertise, okay, let's talk about fees. So final value fees on Bonanza are based on how much you want to advertise your items. And so the economy, which is just the basic organic traffic, 
is, you know, you're not getting any of this extra advertising, but your fees are only 3.5%. Now, when I had the economy advertising level set, I only sold a couple things in months. So for the most part of my Bonanza um, experience, I've had this basic advertising le level chosen. And so your max fee is 9%. Now, sometimes it's less, sometimes it's seven or eight or even 6% based on, you know, how much advertising they actually did for you. Um, I just recently upped to the superior um, advertising level a couple days ago just to see if it actually increased traffic, if it actually got me more sales or not. So um, I haven't had any sales yet since, I, since I've done this, but as you can see, supposedly now they're advertising for me on all these different um, pages and all these different sites. And so we'll see if that changes anything or not. Okay, the way Bonanza pricing works on shipping, um, which is kind of nice, I kind of like this, um, they don't charge a final value fee on your entire shipping amount. So they give you the first $10 for free. So if something costs less than $10 to ship, they don't, you don't get charged the final value fee on that item, the shipping cost anyways. FOV is the amount that the buyer paid to you for the item sold plus any portion of shipping that exceeds $10. For example, if your product sold for $15 and you charge $12 shipping, your final value fee charge would be calculated based on an FOV, final offer fee. I don't know why they change, you know, they keep changing it, but anyways, it would be based on $17, which is $15 for the item and $2 portion of the shipping fee that exceeds $10. Now there is a minimum fee of 50 cents per transaction and then there's a maximum fee of $250. So one cool thing about Bonanza is the stats that they give you and so they do give you all these cool stats on your booth, um, item views and different things, advertising views, um, most viewed items, what people are searching for, traffic sources, where your traffic is coming from, and you know you can dig around in that once you get your booth set up and um, experiment with that a little bit. Okay, so here are some of my recent sales that I've made on Bonanza. Um, as you can see, they're not great sales, but these were all in February, so I've made I've already made three, I think three, four sales in February on Bonanza, so not too bad. Um, as you can see, some of the sales were a little bit better. I had a few sales in January that were pretty decent. So, it's definitely worth it. Um, like I said, it doesn't cost anything extra, and the fees are fairly low. Okay, so one of the things I'm not really crazy about on Bonanza is the way they do shipping. And um, basically, to do shipping, you have to either pay... For the credit card fees that they endure so they'll charge you for that unless you add money to your shipping fund so there's a shipping fund that you can add money to okay so here you can see my shipping fund balance is eighteen dollars and 28 cents as long as you keep money in your shipping fund and you can do this even if this runs out and you are ready to ship something you can add money to this shipping fund right then and there before you ship so it's not really that big a deal but you do have to add money to your shipping fund in order to save on shipping costs. Um, now, if you decide to cancel your, for some reason, you can always withdraw that money. So it's not like you're losing any money. They're just kind of holding it for you so that they don't have to process that on your credit card, I guess. Something like that. I'm not sure. So let me go back to my last sales, show you. All right, so let's take a look at, for example here, on this um, eyeglass case that sold. Um, now I, I collected $3.50 sh for shipping and I printed the label through Bonanza. So you can see one thing I do like is that they show you your total fee right here and what your value was, what the, what the final value percentage was right there. Okay, so on my shipping label. So the shipping label costs $2.77, which is what my cost would be on eBay but they charge a 40 cent processing charge. So actually the label ended up costing me 
$3.17. Now, if I didn't have money in my fund available to print this label, it probably would have been um, about 50 cents more than that. So it would have been, you know, up to $3.70 probably. Um, so that's one thing I'm not really crazy about. Um, but once you sell something, you just come in here, you, you choose, um, there's a little buy. Right here where it says shipping label, usually there will be a, a buy sh um, shipping button. So you click on that and then you can purchase your shipping and um, you can add funds to your account if you need to and all that right there. So that's one thing that, um, so they don't charge a, a final value fee on this $3.50 that they collected as long as it's under $10, but they do charge this 40 cent processing fee. Um, and then you can see, let me show you a more expensive item. Okay, so here's an item that sold for $54. I collected $15.30 shipping, so they charged final value fee on $5.30 of that. And then I also endured a processing fee of 95 cents. So that's kind of the way that works. Um, it's a little different. Like I said, it balances out usually. And so it's still worth it to me, for me to have my listings also shown on Bonanza because as you can see, I do make some sales here um, occasionally. So, And it doesn't really cost anything extra and it's not any extra work. All right, another thing I don't really like about Bonanza is that um, if you have a refund or something, where you need to refund the buyer, you have to also request a refund on your fee. So with like eBay or Etsy, it's automatic. You know, they do that automatically. But with Bonanza, so let's say that they decide they wanted to return these sunglasses and I wanted my 89 cents back from Bonanza. I would have to request a fee refund. And it's kind of complicated because you have to fill out a form to request why you wanted to request it and everything. And then you have to take a screenshot. So you have to go into PayPal, if that's how they paid, send them a refund through PayPal manually. And then you have to take a screenshot of the refund and send it to Bonanza or, you know, upload it to this page. So if I go to this page where it says request a, um, I'm not going to do that, but where I go to this page where I want to request a refund, I tell them why I want to request a refund, and I upload the image of that I actually did refund them. You have to take all you know all those extra steps to get your money back. So it's a little complicated, but I have had to do it a couple times, and it's not a terrible inconvenience. It takes a few minutes. So that's one of the cons. That and shipping are my two biggest cons with um, Bonanza. Okay, so let's go to booth settings. In discounts and coupons, which is kind of a cool feature, you can set up um, shipping discounts and um, things like that. And then you can set up coupons. So I have this coupon set up right now, which is a thank you coupon. So if somebody purchases something in my booth, they will get this coupon sent to them. The cost is free. And what that means is it doesn't cost them any reward tokens. And I'll get into that a little bit more. But um, So once a user purchases something from my booth, they get one freebie coupon per item that they buy. So they'll, know, they'll get this coupon for 10% off if they come back and purchase something else. Now another way you can do coupons is um, by accepting tokens. So let's say I wanted to make a $2 off coupon for 100 tokens. Now the way that works is if, um, so you can earn reward tokens like I mentioned before for doing different things on Bonanza. For purchasing, they have these hand-pick lists that you can create and that can earn you tokens. They have surveys once in a while that you can do that earn tokens. So you earn tokens in different ways. So if somebody wanted to spend a hundred of their tokens for two dollars off something in my booth then I would get 50 of those tokens and that's how that works so that's another way to set up coupons which is kind of a cool idea um, you can set up shipping and returns here and then this is where you can set up your categories and like I mentioned before um, it's very easy to come in here and set up your categories similar similar to eBay and you put in your name and then 
Bonanza will take your item title and your category title and put them together. Okay, so let's talk about rewards for a minute. Um, the way rewards work is you can earn them in different ways. So every day you want to make sure to try to remember to do this and you come into your um, account dashboard and then down here is a button called rewards. So you want to click on that and every day you will have 10 rewards that you can claim just for coming in here and clicking on this little green button. So as you can see, I just earned 10 rewards just for clicking that button. And you can do that every day. Um, there's other ways to earn rewards. So I earned 10 tokens for unlocking a, cust unlocking a customized badge a couple days ago. Um, badges are down, they show you your badges here. You can earn badges for different things, you know, for coming in and checking your store every day, for opening a store. Um, for your first $25 in sales, I believe they gave me 25 tokens for that, um, for customizing your booth, different things. All right. And then they also, sometimes they have surveys that you can take and they'll be on the home page, and they'll just look like that little green button you saw there. And so on this day, I received 500 tokens for taking a survey about um, Bonanza. So there's different ways you can earn tokens. This is how you can spend your tokens. So as you can see, I have um, this many tokens to spend, and I can spend them in these ways. And so what I want to do is um, another way to earn tokens is by referring new sellers to Bonanza. And so what I would like to do is earn 15,000 tokens so I can try this membership out for a month and see if it boosts my sales or not. And so I'd like to earn 15,000 tokens so I can try that and then I'll let you know what, what my experience with that is. This is billing annually. So the gold is $24 a month, but that's billed annually. So if you want to pay monthly, it's $40 a month. And this is what you get, you know, for your $40 a month. I haven't seen that, you know, enough sales on Bonanza in the last year to risk $40 to try this and that's why I want to do the the free membership for 15,000 tokens just to see if it works or not and if see if it's worth it or not um, so if you could use my link below if you do sign up for Bonanza I would really appreciate it that'd be awesome so my favorite way to use Bonanza rewards so far has been right here and so you can use 500 tokens for one dollar off your fees and so that's really cool um, let's say your fees are two dollars um, you can spend a thousand tokens and get those fees wiped out. So it's really neat. Um, you can also, you know, try some of their pro features um, with tokens. You can also get, you know, they have t-shirts and hoodies and different things like that. So there's lots of cool things you can do with your tokens. They do have a really nice help section, which I've used several times when I'm confused about something. And they also have a lot of tips and things so it's very bright and colorful very fun I enjoy it so that's basically Bonanza in a nutshell um, like I said before click on my link below if you want to try it out I'd really appreciate it and um, I'll try to do another Bonanza update video here in a couple months and let you know how things have progressed with using the higher advertising level and then maybe if I can earn enough tokens to try that membership, I will do that and I'll let you know how that goes as well and see if my sales have increased because of that. All right, well, I'm going to wrap this video up because I know it's getting pretty long. So let me know if you have any comments below in the, um, in the comment section below and I will do my best to try to answer them as, <laughs> if I can. Like I said, I'm not like a bonanza expert by any means, but... I have been using it for a while and, and kind of playing around with it, and um, so I might be able to help you. I don't know. But anyways, thanks again for watching this video, and take care.